All right, well, <clears throat> what better day to do a backyard walkabout on the first day of spring, uh, March uh, 20th, 2022. It's about, well, it's about 50 right now, a little overcast, cloudy. It rained all day yesterday. It's supposed to get about 60 today. Little signs of life everywhere. Bleeding heart here is showing some life. This is mostly hostas, so it'll take a little bit more. Leo just about caught a bird. Sheep's always late. Got some these uh, oh, I forget what these are. Early comers. Bulbs, tulips. You know what they are. I'm running a blank right now. Iris and other bulbs. This my wife has this down. I'm always kind of at a loss on the flowers. This is a big giant um I forget. <laughs> but it's coming. It's coming. More iris coming up. Whorehound. I know I do remember this is whorehound. Smells great. This is a bee balm. It's starting to come. This is this is an awesome plant. Bees go crazy. Already seen that the chives are coming. This is a salad burnet. It survived just fine. My winter sewing containers are very happy. Lettuce. You spread this lettuce throughout this bed here in the coming weeks. And this is a nice little mound of uh, self-sown lettuce from something I let go to seed. Same here. Same here. Can we see it? I think so. Right in there. Yeah. I did sow, uh, sow some kale and radish in here a couple days ago. Kind of early, but those are early crops, right? Lavender won't start showing any fresh growth for a little while. Although I may have spoke too soon. I think it's already starting to show some happiness. Gotta love lavender. Yep. This is a ARP. A-R-P rosemary. It's supposed to be winter hardy to minus 10 so i planted this planted this last summer there was enough time for it to take and i think it's barely alive ever since we moved out here from oregon where we had rosemary hedges and maintained it with a chainsaw we've been frustrated that we can't get rosemary here Little signs of uh, strawberries. This is my asparagus bed. If you've seen some of my other videos or read my blog, I planted strawberries in with the asparagus and it works okay. Uh, I don't make any real effort at it you know, or it would probably work better. So because I didn't make any effort at it I decided to build this bed here last uh, fall and put some strawberries in here and they're popping up I'll make more effort in this little strawberry bed here boys are out doing dog stuff this bed here is gonna get relocated 
to screw this up here because I made it and had to put it somewhere. But what I'm actually going to do is dig that out. I'm going to move that bed and place it place it right in this area right along here and I'm going to put put a couple big pots dig pots down into it and put blueberries in the two pots I have trouble out here just keeping the soil amended uh, for the blueberries and I've I know some people in a local gardening group out here and they do they have good luck uh, doing the strawberry doing the blueberries in pots they're able to maintain the the soil pH that it wants to easier so I'm going to put put the big uh, big square pots in that bed and then you know fill out right wet rest of the soil and I'll be able to plant something else in the rest of the bed and I'm hoping that works because I like blueberries got um Got the onions out here enjoying a little sunshine. Could probably plant those today, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a week or so still. I know darn well April will, Mother Nature will slap me around and come down with a freeze and uh, I'll curse myself for, you know, jumping the gun. She always does that. Did uh, up potted some lavender this morning earlier. This is just a flat of lavender seeds I harvested from my own plants. And I just dug out, you know, carefully dug out some plants here and I'll let those go for a little while longer and up pot some more of those. Can't have enough lavender at my house. And, uh, Got some tomatoes here. These are old tomato seeds, like five years old, and they did okay. I'll probably up pot those a little bit. And I did this a uh, couple weeks ago. Uh, four kinds of tomatoes, some basil, kale, eggplant, dill, about 120 give or take uh, seeds in there. And I'll I'll Transplant what needs to, backfill it with some more soil, and start more seeds. Um, I don't stress about using a whole bunch of different types of seeds in a single flat. Seeds know what they're doing. I'm just helping out. I started this last week, just kind of do a experiment on these little seed kits, and stuff's growing. Uh, the kits aren't for me, though. I, I like the flats. But it's growing. Growing is good. Still got uh, lumber for the next uh, barrel bed build. Thought I was going to do that this week, but I'm not. Got some other chores. Oh, today's big uh, excitement ah! was uh, tipping the rain barrel upright. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any more hard freezes that it'll be a problem we're still going to get freezing weather but it won't you know impact the barrel too much and i did remember to turn the spigots a couple years ago i didn't it took me weeks to wonder how wonder why it wasn't filling up a lot of these pots are uh, all starting to show life most of this is perennials and you know everything's a little raggedy but that's, that's how we do it. I don't spruce everything up in the fall. I just kind of let it be and uh, take care of it in the spring. That way if there's any friendly critters hibernating, they have a chance to make it through the winter. These are a couple, couple frog figures in those rocks <laughs> from the, my dad's 1885 home in South Dakota. And the, the rocks are from the homestead in, in South Dakota. Um, I'll travel to South Dakota a couple times this year and do some footage from there. It's pretty cool. The family homestead from the 1880s is 
still within the family so it's uh it's fun to travel out there anyways that's uh spring day one 2022 backyard walkabout hope you come back and uh, if you're enjoying the videos uh, please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching